This is another video that continues to look at the settings of the iPad. So go to settings and in this video I'm going to look at um, networks, the Wi-Fi network, Bluetooth, uh, personal hotspots and cellular data if you have a 3G one. And that's probably all I think. So for Wi-Fi. Um, all iPads have got Wi-Fi in them and you have the ability to uh, join any available Wi-Fi network. If you turn it off, then Wi-Fi is off. And unless you have a 3G iPad, you effectively can't use it and it's almost though, like a brick. You need some sort of internet access to be able to use your iPad. So if, uh, in this case, I have a 3G um, Wi-Fi iPad, so I've got 3G access. Uh, so Wi-Fi, sometimes when I'm out of the house, I don't have any Wi-Fi near me, or there's no hotspot that I can attach to, 3G is useful then. To turn it on, and it's immediately going to look for the last available network, depending on where you are. If you are at home and you've set up your iPad to, to link to your network, it will find it automatically. If you go to somewhere else and you join another network somewhere else, it will join that one and it will forget the one at home because it's out of range. Uh, in this case, I have two networks that I can join to. I can um, add another one by going to other and entering in all the details. So the network name, that's the SSID name, your security, whether, whether you're using WPA2. Um, and then you would put a password in and then you would join. Now you'd need all that information. This is sort of beyond the, the scope of this video, but you need some basic information to be able to join a network. Uh, ask to join networks. I have that turned off. If you're, if I turn that on and I'm out somewhere in the, in the shopping centre where there are lots and lots of Wi-Fi networks, as soon as my iPad gets within range, it's going to keep offering me joining this network and join this network and, and most of them are all secured and it's just unnecessary traffic. Uh, the only networks I want to be able to join are the ones that I uh, particularly choose to, so uh, I turn that off. Um, you can look at, each, at the details of the network, so in the little blue right arrow there, if I touch that, it will give me some information about my actual network, my home network, so the IP address and um, subnet mask, the router's address, the things you probably don't need to know too much about, but if you're doing some troubleshooting or someone else is troubleshooting for you, then uh, that's where you'll find that information. If uh, it's giving you a bit of trouble, you can renew the lease, which will just reset your, your IP address and just set it again. Uh, but for most of this, you're just not going to have to touch anything here. You can forget the network. If you really don't want to be bothered by that network, you can forget it, and then the next time you're in that location, it won't automatically join it. Um, most of the time, once you've set up your network, you won't have to touch this at all. Uh, for Bluetooth, Bluetooth, um, if it's turned on, can be connected to Bluetooth headsets, a Bluetooth keyboard, wireless keyboard, or other computers. Now in this case in mine I have my iPad uh, paired with a headset, a, U a USB headset. It's also a Bluetooth headset so uh, that's been connected so every time I want to listen to uh, music or video I can decide whether I want to listen to that using the headset or just the, the internal speakers. Uh, for the Macs and the any other computers you cannot send and transfer photos and files between computers on an iPad. But you can set up a connection between a computer if you want to use it as a um, personal hotspot, which we'll, we'll show you in a minute. Uh, or, I don't think, she think there's much else you can do. And I've got one connected. I've got a MacBook that's connected to, paired with the iPad through Bluetooth, because I might want to use my iPad as a personal hotspot and then because the MacBook has no Wi-Fi, it has no other internet connectivity, I can connect my, my MacBook to my iPad and use the iPad's data connection to provide internet access for my MacBook. And that's why that one's saying it's, is um, uh, 
it's paired. It's not connected yet, but it's paired. Um, Bluetooth, unless you've got a keyboard or a um, or you want to use it as a hotspot, is probably better off leaving it as turned off. Because there's not much you can do. Um, the personal hotspot at the moment is turned off, and there are some ways there that gives you to that you can connect your iPad to other devices and use its data settings. So that's only going to work if you have a 3G setting and you are um, needing to attach a computer and that hasn't got internet access. If I turn this on, the personal hotspot's on and my Wi-Fi is not connected anymore. You can see up the top there the Wi-Fi is gone and it's now using 3G. And I want to connect my MacBook, so I'm going to just plug it, get the, uh, the white USB cable that comes with the iPad. USB on one end is in the MacBook, the other end is going into the dock on the iPad, which I'm just about to do. And connect it. And what it's now doing, if you look at the top right there, that it's now got a connection. Personal hotspot. One connection, so there is one device attached to this iPad that is using the data on the iPad. So if you have a very big data plan for your 3G, then it might make sense to use your iPad as a as a sort of a router uh, to get other devices onto it. Uh, my MacBook does not have internet on its own, but it's now using the iPad's internet, and there. Are, there are you know, other ways you can connect using USB, you can connect using Wi-Fi. So it gives you three different ways you can set up this hotspot and a password to use. But on a Mac, it's fairly simple. Just pair the two, plug it in, and it, it works. Um, I'll just turn that off. Uh, cellular data, if you have a 3G connection and you want to just keep control over what data is being used. That's the option for that one. Data roaming is off, so uh, particularly if you're traveling somewhere and you want to be able to be sure that you're not using too much data, that's where you'll find all the settings for that. And the carrier, not much you can change in all these things. Airplane mode, if you are in a plane and you have to uh, turn off your, your Wi-Fi systems because they interfere with the plane systems, you can turn that on. And then, thing, and then things, you can still use it, but it's not going to interfere with the uh, plane systems. And you can see the little airplane on the top left there uh, to indicate that that's on. Wi-Fi back on. And immediately looking for networks, and it's picked the, uh, the last the network that I was on. I can change that if I want to. Um, okay, that's all for this video.